nine, four, seven. First things first. Deny. I know that in New York, Lupita had forty people on her guest list for the premiere. Yeah, uh, I hear. Yes, I hear. And you have twenty. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Was that New York or L.A.? I'm not sure. Yeah, you, you yeah. know, where's Jimmy? Jimmy Kimmel. That's L.A. Okay, then it was in L.A. Yes, was in LA. yes. So you have I 20. had a lot to your, yes. You guys are heading off to Mexico. Tinoche, that's your, that's your stomping ground. How many do you have on the guest list for that one? Oh, guest? <laughs> yes. For the premiere? Yeah. I don't know. I, I hope to, well, I, I have like 60, 70, 50. 60? What? Yeah. Yes. You invited everybody you've met in your life, then. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just my family. <laughs> Not we your have first grade teacher. We have big families. <laughs> oh, I love it. Tinoche, I want to come to you. I, you know, there's just something so marvelous about how you played this villain. Because the entire time I kept on saying, he's not a bad guy. He just wants something different from us, guys. That's it. That's it. Thank you. you. He's not bad. Thank you. So guys, you're our ally. Thank you. you. Hear me out, guys. Hear me Hello. out. Was, what, was that part of the plan where you want us to constantly grapple with whether we like you or hate you the entire movie? <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, well, uh, he's uh, the, the antagonist yeah. more than the billion. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, he's... I mean, we try to create this character just uh, with uh, human motivations. You know, it's a, it's a simple man. Yeah. Uh, not maybe not that simple, but it's a <laughs> it's simple uh, motivations. Just protecting his people, protect uh, what he loved the most, what is important, the culture, uh, his his culture, his city. Oh. You know, so he's just trying to do that. Of course, he's around five hundred years old. So. Yeah. Maybe he's taking more uh, dramatic decisions to to take care of uh, his people, uh, his heritage. But at the end, I think everybody can identify, uh, feel ident identify, yeah. you know, uh -huh. empathy for those motivations. And that, that's why I think that people can feel really attached and they can feel like, um, yeah, like, oh, maybe it's not that bad, you know, because you know his motives mm -hmm. and that's pretty incredible like especially in these kind of movies you know superhero movies tend to 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 gravitate between good and bad yeah you know? black and white yeah. the good guy and the bad guy nothing in the middle but i think this movie explored really well yeah. the gray you know the grace in in between uh, black and white, yeah. you know, and the reason why it's black and the reason why it's light. And exactly. Yeah. So if you go deep in the grace, actually the light is in the grace. Uh, it's uh. not. It's not in those two. So you know, when you, you you started speaking to Ryan about this role, did he ask you can you swim? Because I throughout the movie I felt like you have to be able to swim if you're gonna be in the. In the, the, the they didn't know. I did. I didn't know how to swim. I, I have to learn for this. Movie. No way! Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I barely survived, you know. I, I was like like a puppy on the water, you know, just <laughs> Don't like, care, no. fighting to survive, and I did it so well. That's why I'm here with you, I'm speaking with you. <laughs> I never drowned before. It was real. It was for real. And then uh, I took my first class. It was with a floaties. You know, this, this floaties oh. around you. You're so cute. <laughs> I don't know, it was cute. You're like a toddler. Bars. <laughs> and turn. We can't. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> it was my, my first class, but now I'm able to hold my breath for five minutes. Oh, wow. Stop it, Houdini. You stop it, you stop it right now. Then I, um, listen, your outfits in this movie. Ruth E. Carter said, I'm gonna make Denai look like the banger that we know her, that she is. <laughs> like the tailoring, every time you came on, I was like, ooh. Right. But what I also liked is there was a bit of a parallel existence in terms of how stern we know you to be as a general and your comedic side coming through. You know, especially in that dorm room, you're like, ooh, this fun is very funny, you know? But then there were really deep moments of, you know, sadness and pain that were coming through and you were having some tough conversations throughout the movie. You know, how did you work it that you, you hit that, you know, that general role straight in the middle, bringing along the vulnerability and the humor at the same time? You know, I mean, I, I think people forget. She was funny in the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She was funny. Rewatch it. But yeah, uh, you know, uh, but yeah, I always, I always had that, um, that thing 
for her that, you know, she, from day one, really, and even in the first one, it was all about, she was never just going to be kind of like a cold, stern person. Mm. She was going to have warmth. She had little fun little moments with, with Shuri, you mm. know, she would tease T'Challa, you know. She had that sort of a relationship with them, which I didn't realize was setting up something for this one, yeah. you know what I mean? Which is, when you have those sort of connections with, yes, it's her job, but her job is her. Mm. Like, she doesn't know the difference. Mm. Like, where's the difference? You know, I, I protect Wakanda. I love Wakanda. I That's die it. for Wakanda. What else is there? There's yeah. no nothing else to her in that, in that regard. That's her soul. Mm. And so the idea of then, and that was very clear to me from the jump with mm. getting the role, and I loved that about her because um, I loved the idea, the ideology of a Wakanda. So mm. to me, it was very easy to connect to that. But then the idea of this one, those, 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 you know, that warmth that she had when, you know, with those characters, Shuri, T'Challa, you know, it was kind of like they were her family, you know? Yeah. And so to, to step into this film, and of course the tragic loss of our brother, of our, our brother Chadwick, yeah. and then also, you know, this, the journey of Shuri, that connection was then um, very easy to, um, to, to feel in her, yeah. that yeah. things have shifted, pain, sorrow, grief, was happening to connections that were deeply created in the first one. Mm -hmm. And also these these people now were like were my family. Yeah. Um, so so that journey for her, it's very that's a key thing I think has to happen, not only because we never have characters, we rarely, rarely had characters like this on this scale. Yeah. We have to let them shift and go through um, a stretching of their humanness yeah. as we keep going into another uh, an addition of the narrative because that actually allows us not to just be creating archetypes yeah. or creating complex roles complex people that um, you can't put in one box you don't want to be able to say oh those yeah. African those black women of Wakanda are just this one thing Ooh. so you want you want to see that shift and so I was very I was you know li listen when I found out that well, when Ryan told me what was going to happen to my character I was like whoa 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 mm. <laughs> can we discuss that <laughs> <laughs> but then I realized that's actually a really, it's a great thing for characters to go through. Yes. To not just get to stay in their comfort zone. Yeah. You've got to see them stretch and change. Uh -huh. Which is great because I, there was also a moment in one of the interviews that I watched that you did where you said, you don't want it to, they, it's, it's this anomaly when you've got strong black women as an army. Because when I was watching the movie, I'd forgotten that you guys were women. I, I, I didn't give you guys a gender. Mm -hmm. I just saw people who were patriotic, mm -hmm. you know, who were led by love, mm -hmm. and, and, and led by love in a few spheres. And I, wasn't, mm -hmm. I wasn't looking like men or women, like, oh, look, mm -hmm. that woman hit that man. In mm -hmm. So it, it, I like the intent around that, that you, you're almost taking gender away and you're just leading with, you know, intention. That's what's so beautiful about Wakanda, right? It's like that Wakanda says, what's, why would we hinder people's abilities and talents based on gender? Uh -huh. And that's like the flaw of our world, that uh -huh. we do that. You know, and we're actually denying ourselves and actual the, the skills and the capabilities that people have because we're saying, no, you're female, you can only see yeah. this role. Yeah. And so that's what I, I love that you're saying that because that really should we set that up in the first one. And now in this one, you're just you don't even think about it. It's, mm. it's become natural. It's become normalized. Mm. That's fantastic. Okay, now let's talk about the email from Disney of the things that you're not allowed to say about <laughs> the movie. <laughs> Do you know about this email, Tinoj? No. Oh, you're not on that group. Uh, no, we we don't we don't we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it out there, Shadosh. I listened went to my peer. I don't know. Because <laughs> apparently there's this email it. that tells you what you're supposed to say and what you're not supposed to say. <laughs> oh well they walk us through something. I guess we got we get woke. But I'm like, of course we're not gonna say that. <laughs> we went through so much to make this movie. We're not gonna walk around and say, guess what happens? <laughs> Man, <laughs> I, uh, you know, he oh has like a your face. You know. <laughs> But surely the people around you, the immediate person that you live with, you know, don't they ask and be like, hey, they're not. Psst. No, no. Real friends won't do that. Really? Because they, firstly, they know that you're breaching a contract with Disney. And secondly, <laughs> they, they, they don't the want bag. that for you. <laughs> and secondly, they, um, they know that they want your work to shine the right way. Yeah. Right? Yeah, well, my friends didn't do that because I told them everything since the first month. <laughs> Yeah, it's not true. It's not true. No, this thing. Sorry. This is a helicopter. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> There's a little fly right here now. And they're like, Lemon, that's a good to know. 
Listen, uh, it is a brilliant project. I'm going to wrap it there on the side. It is a brilliant project. I am so obsessed with this movie. I, I cannot wait for it to come off cinema after breaking the records and making, you know, $3 billion. Then I Amen. You know, ah, that, I'm telling you, $3 billion. I received, I've got three stars as a tattoo, $3 billion. I'm telling you now. And because I want to own it in my house because I want to be able to play it. You know, for my son and his friends, and when they come, it's just that movie. You know, it's 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 what I think Lion King was for me when I was, you know, seven years Thank old. Thank God we passed the animals. Oh, passed the animals. We're we the wild now. We got people now. <laughs> We're the wild now. Yes. You know, and it's just something. You know, I I knew the first one was brilliant, and oh, but the second one, guys, take a bow here. Take a bow. Thank you so much. Nine. Nine. Four. Three.